Everybody, it's your girl Miss Ish coming at you one more day to give you a new recipe. Today we're going to be cooking bok choy and chicken sausage. Now bok choy, if you don't know, is more of a Chinese style green, um, more of a texture and style of a collard green. Um, it looks pretty much the same. You can get them either whole in the store or already cut up. I already have some cut up that I actually purchased, well not purchased, but got from my mom's garden. And so we're going to use that today. Now she does different things with her bok choy. We're going to show you what I'm going to do with mine and a couple recipes and actually um, the desired seasoning of your choice. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see I already have my bok choy in the skillet. What I've done is cut up green onions bell pepper and minced garlic and added everything to one small skillet with the sausage that I've already cut up and I went ahead and fried everything separate I placed the bok choy in one skillet with a little extra raw spinach um, with one tablespoon of vegetable oil now for my seasonings I've added a little seasoning blend which is salt free I have chicken seasoning, uh, a Malibu sauce, and then for the end we're going to add a little soy sauce. Now the reason you don't want to add salt or too much other garlic salt is because the soy sauce is actually going to bring out the Asian flavor that you're looking for. Now when my mom makes this dish, she uses the bok choy, of course, and she makes a small pot of white rice on the side. What, Excuse me, once that rice is cool, she adds that rice to her bok choy and then she adds her soy sauce, whatever seasoning she prefers, and then she adds shrimp. Now, um, it makes it one whole meal, but today what we're doing is just going to use the chicken sausage. We're going to use the bell pepper, the onion, minced garlic, the seasoning, the bok choy, and the spinach, okay? And the reason we're doing it this way, instead of using the rice, is because we've been eating a lot of stuff that got a lot of starch. So we're just trying some new ways to, you know, tweak the old recipes that we've already been more familiar with. Now, you can use any sausage you want, whether it's a hot link, Polish sausage. What I've done, I have a small piece left I'm going to show you. I used a chicken sausage. It was more of a horseshoe style sausage so that's what I've used um, to prepare this meal and like I said you can use chicken beef Polish whatever you know whatever you have at home or whatever you can afford to purchase and so once this um, cooks down for about 20 35 minutes depending on the texture of the bok choy if you like them to be more of a collard green texture well where they're um, there's no crisp to them at all then you want them to cook a little longer and just keep them on a low heat for about 25 30 minutes and you really don't have to do anything after that because the bok choy is kind of like frying cabbage if you know about cabbage it makes its own water so with the tablespoon of um, vegetable oil that I placed in here with the with the seasoning and the soy sauce that bok choy actually made it own water so it actually makes it even better okay so what I'm gonna do is get this plated up soon I'm gonna make some baked fish or actually maybe some stovetop garlic buttered lemon um, tilapia just to, as one of the um, meats for this dish okay so I hope you guys enjoyed and if you like please subscribe and share and try this recipe at home and um, let me know what you think. Thanks.